So I had to reformulate my whole plan, but thank you guys for joining. Safe to say, episode three. I appreciate you guys 1,000 again. Um, thanks for tuning in. And um, we got a little bit of a hot topic today that I want to talk about, but obviously everything is going to be talk- spoken about. And all I have to do is kind of bring it up and, and dedicate the time to talk about it. So let's get into it. But today's episode, right, is going to be about why men can't succeed in your household. So I got some key points that I wrote down, right? And I basically put uh, public assistance, NYCHA, and a disrespect for female, right? These are the main three reasons why our men or your men in your life are not succeeding. Um, honestly, right, the reason why I brought up the whole NYCHA welfare thing, you know what I mean, the whole public assistance thing was just that um, a lot of the females that are involved, right, with a guy um, on a lower on a lower level, you know, honestly, depending on your job status or depending on how much money you make a year, the, the, the people or the females that you're going to meet. Um, so dealing with somebody that comes from a lower income, more than likely than not, um, you're going to have certain obstacles, right? And, um, with those obstacles would be, um, again, public assistance. So now if your female is on public assistance and you start to deal with her or whatever, it's cool. I mean, again, this is not a disrespect to anybody that's on these type of things. So let's go back into it. Um, so first let's let's speak about men not succeeding, right? Let's speak about that that topic first and then we'll get into the other reasons. Right? Um ladies, a lot of girls a lot other ladies out there have um have these men in the household that are pretty much not not providing, right? So they're providing and doing everything for that that family. Right? And then you have um you have other men that just don't wanna work or some just wanna hustle, you know what I mean? So that's already some negatives. Um, then you got you got some that have to watch the kids, right? Don't have babysitters, don't have uh, help, right? So they're the only ones in the household, so they got to stay home. So you guys are already putting the man in a position where he has to provide if you didn't know that already, right? So with that being said, your man now, there's a lot of guys out there that I don't know their concept because honestly, I don't have a lot of. I mean, I do have some friends that kind of probably think this way, but that shit is whack, you know? Um, but it's like, if your girl's supposed to do all the work and you're going to just play video games all day um, and not really get things done, then what's the point? What are we talking about? Uh, life is about about accomplishing things and doing things and getting things done. So if it's not like bettering your household, right? If it's not um, bettering the car that you drive or your situation, where you live, where you're going to live or where you're going to stay, then what are we really talking about, guys? We're talking about generational wealth, stuff that you're going to do when you're dead. (laughs) I mean, I'm I'm setting up my son right now to be a a human being that could go and get anything he needs to get when he got to get it. Um, and I'm not really sure what that what that entails, right? I'm not sure if um if that's gonna be a positive. Like you know, I'm, I'm of course it's gonna be a positive. But I'm not sure if it's gonna be positive for him. I'm not sure if my my direction is gonna help him. But um, I believe in my system, and I have no other choice but to do that. So me planning on like a retirement fund or. Me planning something like, I don't know. I don't know. I think I like those long-term things that a lot of people do, like, you know, a life insurance policy and shit like that. I, I think that those are, like, useless for for uh, for a family like mine because, you know, it's like, if we in NYCHA, <laughs> what are we leaving? Right? What are we leaving to each other? Um, leaving him an apartment that, it's falling apart that, that has the worst landlord in New York City. In reality. 
Let's see. So now you got a you got a guy out there that's in your house. He's playing video games. You don't want to get a job, and you got kids with him. What y'all what y'all doing now? Y'all um <laughs> y'all focused on next month's rent, you know? If that. Um, if that y'all focused on buying our next eighth together. You know, that's the that's that's crazy. Um but yeah, so that's kind of like it's hard to get into it, you know, it's hard to really get into it cuz I don't want to judge I'm not judging people. You know, I'm am judging people. Of course I am. But I'm not judging nobody personal, you know? So it's like if I seen it from somebody personal, you know, like I seen this negative behavior or whatever. I just took it like, oh man, like whatever, and I kept it moving. I didn't really kind of think of it like, oh, here's this dirt bag doing this and doing that. So don't think of it like that, you know. But again, the truth is the truth. So the only thing you could do is like, you know, tell it. <laughs> and that's the problem with like talking like this, you know, because it's like you're really gonna say certain things about certain people that obviously you're not gonna like. Um, and I tried. See the thing with me too is I I cut my friend friend list off crazy. Where right? there's so many people that used to have access to me that doesn't you know. In reality, like like my my personal Instagram is private. It's been private for years. But in reality, I had um I had like uh. Seven hundred seven hundred like subscribers. I'm not subscribers. Followers. And I shaved it down to like 250. And it was because at a certain point, um, certain information was getting to certain people that wasn't supposed to, but they somehow got there. And um, yeah, I cleared out so much and it's, it still happened. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. But um, yeah, that's the that's the thing. So it's like, it's tough to do talks like this or whatever when you're talking about certain people or certain things and then people fall into that that category. So, yeah, try not to <clears throat> take it so harsh. I mean, I probably don't care. Most of the time, I really don't care. And it's not even that I don't care about consequences because I do. It's just um, it's tough. It's tough to care uh, about people that don't care about you. So... Um, that's really the the main thing of it all. But um, all right. So let's get into it. So now you got this guy, and you want him to succeed in life, right? Helping you, or don't you? Right. Um. You you have to try to get him a a job that he likes, right? Uh, try to guide him on a path that he likes. Um whatever that path may be but we don't know it until we get into it and that's kind of the journey of of life itself so um i i put down government assistance you know welfare whatever as as number one problem um there was a little like a reel that i posted up recently that had like kind of it was talking about how um welfare was put in place to kind of take away the the black man from the house um and it's and it's so true. It's pretty much saying, you know, you go to gov you go to the government assistance and you say, Hey, I need some I need necessities, you know, I need food and I need money. And the government asks you, if you don't have a guy in your life, pretty much, we got you. If you don't work and you don't have a guy in your life, we got you. He don't have to worry about you, I got you. And <laughs> I mean, that's the setup in itself. So anyways they get they keep her on the bare minimum. They keep her family barely surviving, and obviously she never could save any money to do anything, really. Um, what she's going to do is she's going to take out credit cards, and she's going to be in debt, and she's going to ruin the kid's life by being in debt, and um, somehow be attracted to always going back to the government for help because they don't always ever helped her. So that's kind of the overall goal of it. Um, the reason why it ruins the, the black household and the man, for instance, is that every man that's in this household always has that female that kind of was taught that. So um, they don't know it. It's just hardwired in. And, um, um, yeah, that's the that's the first problem. Being on welfare, being on public assistance and all that stuff like that is the first thing to bring you down. 
Um, you shouldn't even be focused on that. You should be focused on <laughs> your next day, your next job, and next uh, next opportunity, your next possibility. So that's that. And then I put number two was NYCHA. So yes, you know, I'm I'm from a NYCHA, a, a NYCHA a complex or whatever, right? But I currently don't live there. Um, my family still does, but I currently don't. Um, I moved out. I'm super happy to say that, right? But um, it's just the first step, and obviously, going to another another a stepping stone. So first step was moving out of the hood, moving to a regular apartment, and that's exactly what I do. And then now, um, and and now the next goal is to obviously save up to get a house or something like that. So obviously, boom, you do that. Right, so um, NYCHA in general um, keeps you like comfortable, you know. So you're living in this place, you know, like we actually in NYCHA spot right now, but um, you're living in this place or whatever, and all you hear is noise, constant noise. <laughs> right, it just gives you um, it gives you that 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 thug mentality. That's like, yo, I wanna I wanna tell this person to shut up, or I wanna do this, or I wanna do that. Every time you go outside, it's nothing but negative. It's like uh, nobody says hi. And some people do, but for the most part, nobody says hi. And it's kind of like everybody's on some, like, grimy, cringy. Yeah, what's what's next? What's next? What's next? Everybody that's outside. <laughs> Everybody that's inside. It's on some lazy shit. Like, oh, you know what I mean? I don't want to go outside today. I need everything delivered. And that's it. You know what I mean? Like, so two negatives. <laughs> two negatives, guys. Um, and that's the downfall of a lot of men, you know what I mean? Where you live, where you stay, where you sleep definitely has a lot to do with what, what you do and what you, and how, how productive you are. So, um, yeah, um, definitely that. Right. Um, oh, and then last but not least, number three, right? Number three is, uh, disrespectful female. So, Having a disrespect for female constantly uh, tell you what to do or constantly uh, deter the narrative or try to make light of 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 any positive could definitely bring down a negative. So, uh, like I said, you have these three things in play, which is a lot of guys, a lot of men are <laughs> in NYCHA on on government assistance or have somebody that is. And then vice versa in NYCHA already. Obviously, if you already have a government assistance. And then not to not to mention to have a disrespect for female. That is going to um, kind of brainwash you to believe that she's alpha. You know, you're not. So, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, those three, those three scenarios right there is what's going to make up uh, a lot of why a lot of men can't succeed. And, uh, and the New York New York lifestyle, New York lifestyle, and I'm pretty sure this happening other way, everywhere else. But um, in the New York lifestyle itself, uh, that is something that is um, very big on the downfall of a lot of men in New York City. So again, I'm not disrespecting nobody. I'm not trying to downplay anything. The goal, guys, the goal, the goal, the goal. And I'm gonna tell you again, the goal is to get out, to get out, not to stay, not to be the hood. Best. The goal is to get out. So, as we try to get out, hopefully the other things will uh, transpire the right way. And you could uh, relieve yourself of getting out of the hood, which is getting a new apartment, getting off of public assistance, and then obviously fixing your relationship with your female. But to have all three <laughs> is uh, it's super, super complicated. So, again... Um, I'm just gazing off because I'm li I'm literally talking to myself in the room. You got to remember that. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, you lose focus on exactly what's going on. Um, and especially when I'm smoking and stuff like that. So let's, let's kind of wrap it up. But that was the whole point of this particular one was to give you guys a clear understanding of why I believe a lot of men don't succeed. A lot of people don't have drive. A lot of men don't. Um, push themselves to do more or not knowledgeable to do more um, so you know go out there keep pushing um, keep trying hard I guess you know <laughs> again I'm not 
Like, I'm not doing this. It's not like a motivational thing in a way. It's just more like me talking about it, me having awareness or giving my advice, my positive advice, if I could. And also the negative. Um, Sorry. Yeah. Again. um, Yeah, I'm kind of speechless. Like, uh, and we... As a, as men, we all need to kind of like step up a little bit more, right? Do a little bit more, um, but uh, get out the habits of of what New York City taught us. You know, that's that's kind of a problem too. So, you know, let's go. We're gonna finish this one though. Thanks for watching episode three of Safe to Say. Uh, this is your boy Luke. Take care, y'all. Have a good night.